Hi guys, welcome to Simple Programming. Today, let us look at how other rate of exception handler works in Spring Boot. In our previous example, we created a simple Spring Boot app and saw how it worked. In this example, we are going to look at how exception handler works in Spring Boot. For this, what I have done here is, I created a simple controller, I created a model, which is a student model. The student model has an ID, first name, last name, and age. You know, simple fields. Then let us look at the controller. I have a student controller here, and you could see here I have a request mapping map to the path slash student, and there is a post method. Okay, so when you send a request body student, this that request body will come to this particular method and it will get processed. Okay, I also created a simple exception uh, which is called as invalid field exception uh, which is nothing but it will accept a message and it will rush you know return the message back to the user so let's go back to the controller let's see what happens so the rule that i have here is to simulate this particular behavior if the last name in the student object is empty then i'm going to throw an error saying the last name is a record field if the last name is present then the data will be saved a simple example okay and if you come down right you could see here i have a method called handle invalid field exception annotated with other rate of exception handler and the parameter is going to be invalid field exception that is our custom exception created and what i'm going to return is i'm going to return the message that i'm going to set here okay this is an overall very simple example of how other rate of exception handler works in spring boot okay let's directly jump into running this code all right our application has started now and let's go to the postman and simulate this example in the postman i have created a tab that is going to send a post request to this particular uri the uri is going to be your localhost the port that your spring boot app is running and slash the path the path i have given in my controller is slash student and i have the request here id first name last name and age let us first simulate the error scenario here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove the last name and see what response i get from a spring boot application i'm going to click on send you could see here i received a response back saying that the last name is a record field now let us go and try to add back the last name. So I would have added the last name back to my request. And when I click on send, I got data is saved. So this is our success scenario. So we just saw how other rate of exception handler catches the exception in the controller. You can have multiple methods annotated with exception handler inside this controller with valid exception classes. But this is a major drawback as these exception handlers are active only inside this controller and we don't want that and that is not a good coding strategy if there are multiple controllers we need to segregate this exception handlers into a common class so that it looks elegant and easy to maintain in future well spring boot gives you an option for that there is an annotation available that makes it happen and it is called as at the rate of controller advice let us see how it works in our next video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more such videos.